Welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck, here we have 25 listings in today's list and uh, a good list for first time buyers. And speaking of which, we're doing a buyer class on Thursday. It's not exclusively for first time buyers. We've had people that have you know, bought five or 10 homes that have attended the class and said, boy, I wish I knew this stuff before. So it is good for veterans. Some of the information, maybe 20% of it is mostly for first time buyers government grants, how to get up to $10,000 or more free government money. Uh, some of those things are more for the first time buyers, but the rest of it is completely applicable to everyone. What to look for at home inspections, what lenders look for, how to avoid some of the mortgage traps that are out there. Uh, lots of things that I think would be very useful. So uh, anyway, go to MiltonBuyerClass.com to register. There's no cost to, uh, to be a part of it. You just need to bring a food bank donation as registration. So we're doing that Thursday. We start at 6.30 p.m. sharp, and, uh, and it's a good time. We've done it for about seven years. Probably by now, 750, 800 people have graduated from the class. So there's a lot of things in this list that have kind of returned back down uh, from being in orbit to a little bit more kind of approachable. Condo townhouse, less than $400,000. The thing that I would caution you about is that it's, uh, it has electric baseboard heating and, and that can be more expensive it's, if it's not managed properly. It is also handicap accessible, even though there's no pictures here. It talks about there's a stair lift that can stay or be removed. That's good too. So for a downsizing type of uh, environment, this one could be an excellent choice. Here's another one here on Scott. So we've got an Amesbury, 1130 square feet, uh, a newer style of home, not like the Wilson one I just showed, which is a little bit older. Uh, by the way, there's no pictures on that listing, but if you check the link, the green button, you can see when the photos are actually uh, added. So you get a small front porch here. Uh, once you get inside, there's one full room and that overlooks the kitchen. Now you can set it up like a living dining or what some people do is they just have one big living room. It's really up to you how you set it up. There's your kitchen there. It is big enough for a table, but you have to be careful with scale. Uh, I would do a smaller round table with probably no more than four seats. Uh, upstairs, you've got three bedrooms. They're decent size. There's only one full bathroom upstairs. So what most people do down in the basement when they finish it is they add another bathroom, plus they have the rec room. Uh, to me, this is a good price at $4.99. We've seen, uh, we've seen this model sell for more even within the last few weeks. So six Dawson Crescent, $600,000, and it's probably a little bit bigger than the last one we showed, but it's also $100,000 more. Uh, built at a different time, probably uh, five years uh, older than the one we just showed. And there's a sauna in the basement here, which I think is fantastic i don't know why it's not in the pictures but you can see the layout's very similar to the last one the kitchen might be a little bit bigger and uh and it's just off of bronte street so the train is not far from here although you could argue the train's kind of close to everything in milton here's my point is that this one's a little bit older than some of the other ones that may be 10 years old or whatever it is but read the description furnace and air conditioner 2017 uh, appliances 2014, roof 2015. So the only thing that would need to be updated at this point would probably be the windows as a major capital expense. The rest is done. So there's people that say, oh, I only want new homes. Well, do you really just want new or do you want something that's in good condition? Because this one has a lot of benefits and a lot of money that these owners have spent that you get to enjoy for the next probably 10 to 15 years. Now we've had a couple of warm days this summer, but I, I think that uh, it's I've definitely experienced warmer summers, but that's a good front shot for a home. Normally I don't uh, condone putting a non front picture in, but I think this one does a good job. Uh, the other thing that would have been nice for the front is to show the double garage as soon as possible. Uh, that shot there I think gives 
added benefit too. So this is in Dorset Park, 725. Uh, it's been dressed up. There are parts of this home that are a little bit more original, but they've spent some money too. Uh, you can see that carpet obviously is a little bit older. Uh, but when you dress something up, you show some pride of ownership, it tends to get some good results. So this one is, I believe there's a conditional offer on it after only a few days because they really stand out and they have a pool and they have a double garage and they're asking the same price as a lot of single car garages without pools in this area. So uh, this market right now, it's tricky, but you play to win and you know, you do okay. I don't even know if there's more than one offer on this one, but I knew the price as soon as I saw it. I went, that's really good value. So what's happened in the last week for single car garage detached homes in the new areas? They've really had a tough time. There were two or three low sales, uh, a couple listings, including the one, uh, one of the ones that we have responded to that and kind of played this little price war a little bit. And so now, coming off the weekend, we've started to see that some of the other ones have followed suit and just come a bit lower. Uh, so this one on Clark at 739 looks good. I sold this home years ago uh, when it was probably only a couple of years old. And you know, the finishes look good. I'm not sure about that backsplash, but uh, it's three bedrooms and then there's a loft upstairs, uh, which you could turn into I guess another bedroom if you wanted to. It wouldn't be hard to close it off. So it is set up to potentially do a fourth bedroom. And uh, and 739 for what else is out there? 1,900 square feet is very good. So there's a lot of options. Townhouses, single car detached. They went up really quick. So that's part of it is that they really shot up. And so the fall hurts a little bit more because they really have, uh, have struggled. Those two types of homes in particular. So then you compare something like this on Watson. This home would have probably had 10 offers back in March at 799. Uh, so it backs onto a park. It's the same model as, um, as the one on Clark. And you know, it's, it's nice. It's the four bedroom version. They've actually got a closed off four bedroom and they've got the finished basement. There are some advantages. Watson is definitely worth more than Clark in terms of appeal. Backing onto a park, $20,000, $25,000. Then you're looking at finishes straight up and down. And, uh, and it's still, it's, you know, do you make up that $60,000 difference? I don't know, that's up to the buyer. I think there's some of that that definitely you could argue for this with the street and the finished basement. The rest, I don't know. I think that uh, 799, like I said, used to be an amazing price. Now it's like, maybe, maybe not. So this one in McQuaig, uh, 999, it's about 2,600 square feet. The finishes are okay. Uh, I think they're gonna struggle at this price. I think what you get now for 999 is closer to 3,000 square feet than 2,600 square feet. And you also have this element of uh, you know, like, I mean, the quality, everything just has to be better if you're going to hit a million bucks. Once you're past a million and you're really nice, those homes have probably been least affected by the market change, which is totally contrary uh, to what we've seen in the past. This layout lends itself very well to a kind of a basement suite because of the way you enter through the front door, the stairs kind of go like this. Uh, it's a little hard to explain, but it looks like they do have a little in-law suite down in the basement uh, that can work really well. Even the way you can position laundry, it's it's a nice setup, but I don't think they've got the juice at $9.99. So that's it. There was one other one on white that I think is good. Uh, that whole Timberley Bronte Meadows is, uh, is a funny area because there's been some good homes that have just kind of hung around too long. And there's other homes that are okay and they tend to, to sell for good numbers. So it's a bit of a mystery when you're listing stuff in those areas right now. Uh, I think the demand is strong, but I think that the people who normally move up to those homes are probably a little more cautious and skeptical about what's going on with their own home. And then they just pause a little bit too. So you've got market conditions, you've got time of season, you've got so a lot of things right now that 
are kind of interesting and so you've got to really look at it like what's my best move and we're here to help you navigate through that with some good advice and if it's not right we'll tell you and and it's okay because maybe it'll be right later on uh, but anyway if you want to reach out to us for some honest advice or you want to come to the buyer class learn something and I think with a little bit of information, your confidence goes up, your ability to analyze things goes up quite a lot. So that's Thursday night, MiltonBuyerClass.com. We'll see you tomorrow.